importing the phonics page in the Lamp Words for Life vocabulary app in an iOS device. This applies to the Lamp Words for Life vocabulary when used in a Prio, a Via Pro, or an iPad. What is the phonics page? This is a page with letter sounds. You'll notice that the letters are not in the typical QWERTY format like we would expect in our computer keyboards. Instead, the letters represent the sounds that letters make. These are really important for early learners to practice manipulating sounds so they can later learn how to use those sounds to create words. For nonverbal communicators, playing with sounds can be difficult if they can't make those sounds with their mouth. Using this phonics page is a great way to experiment with sound play while working on those beginning reading skills. Now you may be thinking, but my communicator doesn't know how to spell. Well, when do we give our kids a bike? After they know how to ride it or before so they can learn how to ride it? Giving access to letter sounds before he knows how to read helps an individual learn how to read. It encourages sound play and we can model sounds and word making. Let's take a look at how we could use the phonics page. You'll notice the individual sounds are recorded using digitized or recorded speech. That's what allows us to manipulate the individual sounds to make new words. Ka. There's also a word families page. At. To access the phonics page, you need to go to the spelling page first. If you don't see a button that says phonics, then you need to pull it into your custom vocabulary. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Follow these two steps to import the phonics page. First, you'll copy and import the page into your custom vocabulary. Then you'll link the page to a button on your spelling page. Step one, copy and import the phonics page from the full vocabulary to your custom vocabulary. Select menu, edit page, menu again, import another page, Lamp Words for Life full, 84 phonics. Then select import. Now we're ready for step two. We're going to link the phonics page to a button in your vocabulary on the spelling page. From the spelling page in your vocabulary, select menu, then settings, then the empty button where you will link the phonics page. Select edit this button. Next type the button label and you will see the it will automatically fill in the button message button message isn't really important because we're not going to have this button speak a message. We do want an image for the button. So if we select image and then click on the magnifying glass, it automatically shows the phonics image and we've loaded that. Now we'll change the button action. Scroll down to find button actions and we want to select the action that says speech message because we don't want it to speak the message. Instead, we want the page to stay open so we can play around with the letter sounds and create words. Next, we need to tell it what page we want it to navigate to when we press that button. This opens up after we press navigate and we need to select 84 phonics because that's the page we want our button to navigate to when it is pressed. Now we can see on our edit button screen that navigate is changed to 84 phonics. Remember to select save before exiting out of this page. Select done when you are finished and we can see our phonics button is now on our page. Huh. Pat. At. For more information about our products and services, visit us at www.printrom.com.